there's this big gigantic couch and every subscriber is sitting on it and we're just like watching TV together and hanging out and I want that to feel this way. Hey buddies. So I'm still kind of coming off a high of the first live premiere this morning i don't know about you that was awesome it was awesome it was just kind of like a next level thing you know i wanted to see what the live i've never i didn't even know a live premiere was a thing so i wanted to give that a try Pamelite, juni coffee Zombies. Breakfast. Man, you know, so funny. So first of all, let me tell you why we're here. Because I was not doing a video today. My whole day is full. But you remember back when I said, hey guys, thinking about checking out some BTS. So it's like a thing. So just tell me, like, how do I BTS? Where do I start? I don't know anything. And then I said, I'm just letting you know, I have kind of an addictive personality. So this could get crazy or ugly or whatever I said. I was adorable. <laughs> Rabbit hole. And what's funny is first like two episodes, I think. I didn't know what I was doing. This whole reaction thing came from you all saying, hey, you like BTS on Beat Saber, huh? You should do some reaction videos. Hey, and fun fact. I put, you know, because it was true, I put on YouTube, the first video I ever did was uh, for Beat Saber was BTS fire, you know, first time or whatever, whatever it was. So I upload it and it's just me hitting blocks, which is so fun. And if you're thinking about getting an Oculus Quest, get one. And you got to get Beat Saber, the game, and you got to get the BTS music pack. Totally worth it. It'll change your life. But so I upload this video and, you know, comments start pouring in, which I wasn't used to at all. And then all of a sudden this one guy says cool video lots of fun but you don't really have anything interesting to say so i'm not going to subscribe today and i read that going what could i possibly have to say it's beat saber i'm literally just hitting blocks never quite got it and then when you all and i of course like i responded with i know where you live no i didn't do that i'm not a keyboard commando um, no, I was kind of like, Hey man, it's cool. Like it's no worries. It's, it's a game. I just kind of wanted to get to the point and kind of get into it. I mean, what am I going to say? But now I get it. You all like, you should react to BTS stuff. I'm like, I don't know what that means, but here we are. So fun fact, Mark, I think it was his name. Sorry, I'm not threatening you. Was the first one who was like, eh, you don't really have anything interesting to say. So eh, not for me. Okay. I never quite got it. Now I get it. So Mark was the first one who kind of called me on it. So that being said, the first two episodes, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of like just trying to hold my composure, you know, because I'm on the internet now. I gotta, you gotta have like a, not a face, but you can't really just let yourself out there right away. You gotta ease people into you. That's how you feel sometimes. But now here I am 21 episodes later having my breakfast on the air because we're family now something in my coffee that paint no foil see and it's things like this cut that out like chop that out because nobody needs to watch you pull jello foil out of your coffee mug life lesson but i won't i'll forget and here we are all right so junie's gonna guard the coffee I think I figured out the sound. I, pff, totally distracted. Here's why we're here today. When I wasn't going to do a video. So the live premiere this morning was for outro 
tear or tear, depending on how you're looking at it, which, you know, which verse you're thinking about. I didn't know that that song, which apparently, let me read this comment. This came in 22 minutes ago. This is from Significant Other, by the way. Very appropriate for the comment. When this song came out, Army assumed it was about romantic relationships. Hmm, sounds familiar. Over a year later, Sugar shared that he wrote this song when members were considering a disband, which I did pick up on in the chat of the live premiere. All good. When Army heard that, the whole internet was flooded with tears. No Army ever interpret this song was for members. You know how Army loved to decode BTS song. I don't. I don't feel like I see that. I don't feel like there's a lot of decoding going on. It's pretty straightforward. Not a lot to look into. They suffered so much to get where they are now. I'm thankful their bond is so strong. So I think, I think it made sense. Apparently a lot of you went through the same kind of journey to get to that point. And I don't feel like we would have known until Sugar released that. So very cool. So we're here because now I'm digging a little bit deeper. I couldn't really find a video. So if you know of a video that like talks about this or, or shows the guys revealing this or whatever it is, put a link in the, in the comments because uh, I would like to see something. Whether or not I react to it, I probably will because that's what I do now. Um, but so I found this article on Genius.com. And I'm telling you that for transparency reasons. So you know where I'm getting the information. And I don't know, I've never heard of this before. I don't know what the platform is, no idea. I just Googled it and that's the one that popped up that didn't have 10 million ads. So while I eat my breakfast, uh, I'm looking into the meaning of BTS outro tier. It was written while the group was considering a breakup. Man. When I played the song, this is a quote, when I played the song for the members, we all cried together. BTS's latest docuseries, Break the Silence, features never before seen footage from the group's 2019 world tour, Speak Yourself. The members also candidly share hidden secrets from the making of 2018's Love Yourself, Tear, Tear, Tear? In episode six, Sugar revealed that outro Tear was written when the band was considering a breakup. Side note, paralleling this. At some point, I'm going to kind of stop this madness of the fire hose that is BTS content and just kind of like grasping at stuff that I want to see and listen to. And I'll go, okay, calm down. Let's go back to the beginning. And we're going to start day one and go through. I'm going to do that. I don't know when, but I'm going to do it. And that will also include, and it may not be, I don't know, I don't know, Rise of the, uh, the, the all the docu series and episodes. Like we're gonna we're gonna do all that, and we're gonna do it together on the couch. Sounded strange, but a lot of you are like, you know, hey, you would understand this if you went back to the beginning. I know that. I'm well aware that this whole path is strange. But I kind of like not knowing. And I like that when I'm going through something and I'm listening and I'm like, I have these questions, you all have to provide the answers because you know I'm not Googling anything. I'm only looking this up because you told me to. You see how good of a captain I am? I listen. The point being, I like that this causes a form of conversation. I like that it brings more questions. For me, it sparks this like, oh, I got to know. And you, you all are the ones who have to tell me. So fun for everybody. And that being said, quick note. And I know a lot of you are like, bro, get back to the article. You got his I know. I got a message this morning from somebody that just says, enjoying the journey. I love the couch. 
I'm enjoying your journey and I like that you are most interested in expressing your own ideas. I don't always agree, but it's always fun and interesting. Isn't that a lesson for life? We're not always going to agree on everything because if we did, how boring would all of this be? Everything, all of it. You got to have those different avenues and stuff, right? Have different conversations, have different perspectives and listen to each other. Life lesson over. Enough Mr. Rossers. Cello time. So, uh, band was considering a breakup. The lyrics for Tear were written for the members, he explained. When I was writing the melody at the time, we were deeply contemplating whether we should quit or not. When I played the song for the members, we all cried together. Outro Tear is a darker reflection of what it means to love and the significance of goodbyes when loving someone. With the new revelation of that, with the new revelation that the song is actually about possible disbandment, many of its lyrics can now be interpreted under a different light, such as the opening lines of the second and fifth verses. We walked towards the same place, but this place becomes our last. Is this starting to feel like an audiobook? RM, Suga, and J-Hope repeat these lyrics on the track. Evidently, when BTS first started out, the members all shared a similar dream of being successful. However, with the group's newfound fame and launch into the international market, the shared dream became a topic of conflict rather than one of hope. The following lines address this topic. Although we used to talk about forever, now we break each other without mercy. And that was one of the lines that really, really grabbed me. Even if it's not about, and I said this, even if it's not about a romantic relationship, it's a relationship. And how often do these like breakups happen in an amicable fashion? They get ugly. In 2018, BTS was discussing the possible renewal of its contract with the group's label, Big Hit. While the members were uncertain about quitting, it is clear that the decision to disband would have been made with great difficulty. Outro Tear reads like a breakup song, mm -hmm. and its overall angst reveals how hard each member would have taken a split through lyrics like, quote, Although we thought that we dreamed the same dream, that dream has finally become a dream. Reality check, isn't that ironic? In the episode, RM shares further sentiments on why it was such a daunting decision. He explained how BTS is more than just the group's seven members. It doesn't belong to anyone. This is a quote. It's like an imaginary, an imaginary momentary rainbow that's been created by ourselves and the people who help us. It is going to disappear someday. So we have to stay humble and reflect on ourselves. I think it's important for us to spend more time reflecting on these things. How old is this guy? Junie. Y'all told me he was wise. And I know that they're all like these, what was somebody said this morning? They're like old muses that were brought back or something. However, it was poetically said. It was very good. BTS has become a perfect example of synergy between artists and fans. Isn't that the truth? Because of its dedicated fan base, BTS can be more than simply a group, even with the, the possibility of disbandment. The band revisited this notion on We Are Bulletproof, The Eternal, which I've been told I am not to watch yet, not ready for it, from its latest album, Map of the Soul, Seven, singing, yeah, we are not seven with you. As genius contr contributor Beth 1111111 noted, BTS previously spoke about the group considering a breakup during its acceptance speech for Artist of the Year at the 2018 MAMA Awards. Catch up on these lyrics and English translation now. Wait, is there a video to that? There is. Hold on. Okay, this is just an acceptance speech. This shouldn't be a problem. 
this video isn't available anymore. The universe is telling me no. So let's try harder to find that. 2018. Okay. Oh man, this is going to be ugly. Okay. English subs, BTS, MAMA, Artist of the Year. Man, I hope this isn't one of those copyright strikes. Ooh. Well, it's on YouTube. Right? Yeah. Oh, that was loud. That was horrible. Ooh, 720. We're going potato cam again. Hold on, I'm going to eat my feelings for a second. Eight minutes. This is going to be like another hour for me. Okay. Oh, man. I, Hobie's face. Are you seeing this little thumbnail? This is going to kill me. Oh, I told you all I would do this. So here we are. Oh, something here. Mnet Asian Music Award Artist of the Year. 올해의 가수상 수상자는 BTS. I'm doing right now. I've been here for three weeks.
너무 많은 고생을 했기 때문에 그리고 여러분들에게 너무 많은 사랑을 받았기 때문에 꼭 보답을 해드리고 싶었어요 정말 정말 감사드리고 어, 지금 이 순간 같이 있는 우리 멤버들에게 너무 고맙다라는 말을 해주고 싶어요 감사합니다 사랑합니다 보내오면서 어, 조금 힘든 일들도 있을 수도 있잖아요 저희가 그런 일들을 겪고 오면서 저희끼리 모여서 얘기하면서 뒤돌아보는 시간들이 좀 있었던 것 같아요 그러면서 느꼈던 거는 정말 우리 뒤에 우리 옆에 많은 사람들이 있구나 언제 이렇게 많은 사람들이 우리 옆에 있었을까 이런 생각을 하게 되었던 것 같아요 그런 생각을 하면서 저희가 조금 더 힘들더라도 항상 힘낼 수 있고 행복하다는 생각을 할수 있었던 것 같아요 그런 여러분들께 진심으로 감사하다는 얘기 꼭 전해드리고 싶었습니다 그리고 정말로 이 상을 이 자리에서 다시 받고 싶 어, 항상 얘기했듯이 여러분들이 저희를 자랑스러워하는 그 자부심은 곧 저희의 자부심이기 때문입니다 그래서 내년엔 더 좋은 모습 보여드리고 다시 이상으로 보답하겠습니다 감사합니다 사랑합니다 네. 일단 이 방송을 보고 계신 저희 멤버들의 아버지 어머니 아 정말 정말 키워주셔서 감사합니다 이상 저희가 받을 수 있는 게 정말 느끼지 않고 이상 부끄럽지 않게 정말 열심히 하는 가수가 되겠습니다. 그리고 연말마다 이렇게 정말 좋은 상 주시는데 정말 제가 다시 주었던들 아미분들이 저에게는 정말 값진 선물인 것 같습니다. 정말 감사하고 정말 사랑합니다. 감사합니다. 네. I'm not crying, you're crying. 네. 감사합니다 하는데 네. 이렇게 올해 아트상 받게 돼서 너무 너무 기쁘고요. 네, 어, 항상 저희 지켜봐 주시는 아미 여러분들, 어, 아미 여러분들 진상을 생각하고 더 열심히 하겠습니다. 또 저희 일곱 이 형제를 낳아주신 우리 가족에게 감사하다는 말씀을 드리고 싶고요. 2018년 정말. 살면서 이렇게 기쁠 수가 있는 해인가 만큼 기뻤는데 2019년은 더 멋있고 더 기쁜 한해 만들도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 아미 아 되게 올해 초가 생각이 나는데요. 올해 초에 저희가 되게 심적으로 많이 힘들었었어요 그래서 저희끼리 얘기를 하면서 어... 대퇴를 할까 말까 고민도 했고 근데 다시 마음을 정말 다 잡고 이렇게 좋은 성적을 낼수 있게 돼서 어, 너무 다행이라고 생각하고 다시 마음 다 잡아준 우리 멤버들에게 너무 고맙고 저희 항상 사랑해주시는 멤버들에게 너무 감사하다고 사랑해주는 아미들에게 너무 감사하다고 얘기하고 싶습니다 감사합니다 
I didn't expect that. Oh. Wow. Once again, you haven't let me down. Oh. One more thing I'm going to say before I cut this off. And give me a second. I got to clean this up. What a mess. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Something occurred to me in this video. And I've been kind of grasping at it and I couldn't quite put my finger on it based on some of the conversations that I've had with you all within us is probably the better way to say that and things like letters I've received um, I think what needs to happen and I've been chewing on this but I, we're gonna take the plunge we're gonna do it One of the biggest struggles that I tend to hear about on the couch is that the reason everybody's so happy on the couch is because this is a place where collectively we can have moments like this, right? We can either relive amazing moments of fun or hardship, anything but we're reliving them together in a collective space. And the struggle exists for a lot of you because you don't have somebody in your life that you can share BTS with and share these moments with. So you end up, you know, you're on Twitter, or you're on Instagram, like you find these little pockets where you can share some of that. Um, and that's why the the clamoring has happened into this channel because it's a collective space where you can share that. So this is what we're going to do. This morning was the live premiere. And I kind of said, hey, this is coming soon, coming soon. Discord is coming. I've already reached out to a couple people that have offered to help. And if you're not familiar with Discord, it's basically 24 seven, this server is up. And for some of you, this might sound complicated, but we're gonna make sure everybody is taken care of. I mean, if you want to be on Discord, and basically like you click on the app, on your computer, your phone, and other people that are in the couch crew are online. And you can have little chats and you can post pictures, we can share stories, you, you know, you can actually voice chat. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. We're going to set that up. You know, we'll continue to do the live premieres, but there should be a collective space where at any time you can log on and maybe there's somebody there and you wreck, hey, there's so-and-so. Beep, 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 beep. Hey, little dude. And then we start chatting. What occurred to me in this video, you know, I'm watching these seven seven guys isn't doesn't even it's not the right scale of, of which of how i feel these seven people is still not enough these seven superheroes i'm watching them they're struggling through this moment right which to have those moments is difficult as it is but to have them live in a forum that scale is otherworldly you know it's it's risky to, it can feel risky to be that vulnerable. You know, a guy like me having moments like this in a public forum feels risky. 
It takes some work to get over that. But you have to. But I watch these seven guys as they're going through this and their affection for each other. I mean, they're essentially brothers, but their affection for each other, like, knows no bounds. It's just love between them. And I think that is a, a piece of what draws us to them. There's this part of us that longs for that, that, that kind of love, right? That we're not going anywhere. That they can have these moments where, and I'm assuming, because I haven't seen this yet, where they're yelling and screaming at each other, or they almost disband, and that's why it's, because it's, it's not just a band. I mean, how many times have we talked about that? But them disbanding is like they're breaking. See, now tear and tear makes so much sense. Oh, man. Do I have to watch that again? No, I can't. This is already dragging. But now it makes so much sense. So we're going to set up a Discord for a place that everybody can go. And somehow, I'm going to figure out a way to make sure that there's something in place to where if you don't even know where to begin as far as getting on to Discord, we want to make sure that happens. Because just like with the stuff we've talked about, there's no reason that any of you should have limitations on what you're seeing or getting from me in terms of content. Everything I put out is going to be free. I don't want hierarchies of couch crew. This is the couch. Now, some of you like to prop your pillows up under you. I, I, I'm watching you. But there should be a place for all of us. This couch. Is that cheesy? This couch. Discord couch. I don't need to worry about this right now. But I promised you all I would look into this further. You didn't let me down. Oh, man. This hit me like a truck. And again, I've been here for three weeks. You all know their personalities. You know all of this backstory. But even just for a newbie, baby army like me, sitting here and watching this moment, if you have a heart, tear it open. Man, that is brutal. You feel that moment. And they're struggling to keep it together. Wow. Thank you for sharing this with me. I mean, I know some of you were trying to hide the spoilers in the chat, which was really adorable, um, but it's all good. So you got me. You tricked me into putting out another video today. Well played, Couch Crew. Well played.